Welcome to 21st Sports Recap and Reaction for the Tennessee Titans versus the Cleveland Browns in their Week 2 matchup, September 20th, 2015. We're going to go over all the scores and the stats and break it down and give our analysis. Let's start off early in the game, just a couple minutes in. Johnny Manziel hits Travis Benjamin for a 60-yard touchdown. And with the extra point by Travis Coons, it was 7-0. Browns over the Titans. Then with about 6.5 left, still in the first, Isaiah Crowell runs it in from 11 yards out. And with the extra point, it would be 14-0. Cleveland over Tennessee. It would remain that way after one and deep into the second quarter. And with less than a minute left before halftime, Travis Benjamin returns a punt 78 yards, taking it all the way to the end zone. And with the extra point, it was 21 to nothing Cleveland. So that was the score heading into halftime as Benjamin had scored on that 60-yard touchdown pass from Johnny Football, and then he ran a punt 78 yards into the end zone. And so now in the third quarter, with about a minute and a half left before the fourth, Marcus Mariota hits Anthony Fasano for a 19-yard touchdown pass, and the Titans were on the scoreboard, and the extra point by Sukup would make it a 14-point game with the score Cleveland 21. One Tennessee 7. Then in the fourth quarter, Marcus Mariota hits Dario Green Beckham for a 13-yard touchdown to make it a 7-point game after the extra point. And now it was 21-14, Browns over the Titans. But then with less than three minutes left, Johnny Mansell wasn't done just yet as he hits Travis Benjamin this time for a 50-yard touchdown pass as it was Benjamin's third touchdown of the game, his second one from Johnny, that third one was that punt return, and that would make it 28-14 to with the extra point from Travis Coons, and the Browns would hold on to win this one as they come up big at home, winning their first game of the season and handing Marcus Mariota his first loss of his NFL career. And in this game, Johnny Football, 8 for 15 for 172 yards and two touchdowns. But he had those two big touchdown passes. We had that 50-yarder there in the fourth and that 60-yarder in the first as he bookended this game with a pair of long touchdown passes as he shows he's got big play capability. And there was a wonder if he could transition that playmaker ability to the next level. And he's showing right here in this game, you know, put the football in Johnny's hands and he can make things happen. He only had one yard, though, on the ground off of three attempts. Crowell had 72 yards off of 15 attempts and a touchdown. And Johnson had 43 yards off of 12 carries. And we look at Marcus Mariota. He had 21 for 37 for 257 pass yards and two touchdowns. So it was actually a pretty good day for Mariota, even though he did lose. Well, his team lost. He was the quarterback. McCluster had 98 yards off of just 10 carries. Sankey, Bishop Sankey, had 42 yards off of 12 carries. And for the receiving, Travis Benjamin, just three receptions, but two of those were touchdowns, and he had 115 receiving yards on the day. So just two catches was 110 yards, and then that third catch for five yards. But Hawkins had three receptions for 53 yards. And then over on the other side, the leading receiver for the Titans was the tight end Anthony Fasano with five receptions for 84 yards. Kaufman had four receptions for 42 yards, 102 receptions for 34 yards, and McCluster had four receptions for 26 yards to go along with his 98 rushing yards. This McCluster had a pretty big day with 124 total yards. And then we look at the kickers, and Travis Coons, four for four with the extra points, suck up two for two. Neither kicker attempted a field goal in this game. That's somewhat of a rarity. Of course, that big special teams play by Travis Benjamin of the Browns as he returned that one all the way as he came up huge on the special teams with that 78-yard punt return right before halftime. Then we look at the defense, 
and the leading tacklers on each team only had five tackles. As Dansby and Gibson each had five tackles for the Browns, and Brown and Morgan had five tackles for the Titans. Morgan had a sack. Dansby forced the fumble. Bryant had two and a half sacks for the Browns. Whitner had a half sack. Williams had a sack. Hughes had one and a half sacks. Kruger had a half sack. And Meter had a sack as well as they were just terrorizing Mariota in the backfield as they were getting to him. They sacked him seven times in this game as they were giving him some problems. And speaking of sacks, Morgan, as I said, had a sack, and so did Woodyard as they were able to get to Johnny football twice in this game. Let me look at the team totals. And for first downs, the Titans actually had 21 versus just 13 for Cleveland. Of course, you don't really need to have too many first downs when you're scoring on 60 and 50-yard plays. We look at third down efficiency. And for third downs, the Titans converted 7 of 16 for 43%. The Browns, 4 of 11 for just 36% conversions. Of course, the Titans were 2 for 2 on fourth downs. The Browns just 0 for 1 on fourth downs. So the Titans were having some success on third and fourth downs. Not so much with Cleveland, but they were having those big plays and getting to the end zone. Total net yards, the Titans had 385 and the Browns 274. Net rushing yards, 166 for Tennessee, 116 for Cleveland. Net passing yards, 219 for the Titans, 158 for the Browns. And we look at the red zone and see how they did in the red zone. Two for three on red zone trips for the Titans. Just one for two for the Browns. And the time of possession, 35 minutes and 11 seconds for Tennessee. 24 minutes and 49 seconds for Cleveland. So you don't almost think, looking at those numbers, like, how did Tennessee, like, how didn't they win this game with all the numbers seem to be in their favor? But it was the defense of the Browns that was opportunistic. They were bending, but they did not break. And I'll tell you what, the Titans' defense did break on a few plays as Cleveland came up big. Said Johnny Mansell bookending the game with those big touchdown passes to Travis Benjamin. Like I said, that 60-yarder in the first quarter, the 50-yarder in the fourth quarter. And really, Benjamin, I mean, he scored three out of the four touchdowns for the Browns. He outscored the Titans all by his lonesome. Of course, he did get a lot of help from Johnny Football and also from the rest of the guys on the field there as Cleveland put forth a full team effort. And they were able to hold the Tennessee Titans to just 14 points after they had put up 42 in week one. So the defense looking a lot better for Cleveland here in Cleveland in week two. And they end up coming away with this one to put their record at one and one as both these teams are now one and one after two games and the final score Cleveland 28 Tennessee 14 this had a huge performance by Johnny football and whether McCown is healthy or not moving forward I think they should just keep Johnny under center and if the defense can play you know like this if they can be opportunistic if they can get after the quarterback if they can get those sacks they said the seven sacks in the game getting that pressure to the quarterback was a big difference and that helped him a lot to win this one let me know what you think in the comment section below definitely interested to read your thoughts and opinions thank you very much for listening it's greatly appreciated i hope you're having a good day and had a great weekend enjoyed all the sports